Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, this will be Gemini, Sun, Moon and uh, Rising, weekly tower reading, April 29th to uh, May 5th, 2019. And uh, just a second, guys, to shuffle the cards and we're going to go directly to the spread. All right, so the first card which marks up the topic for Gemini uh, week, that is going to be the Tree of Wands, followed by the second card, which is the challenges that Gemini needs to overcome for throughout the week, that is going to be the King of Swords. Third card, that will be the uh, positivity of the week, or rather the positive aspect there, which could be your intentions as well, it could be your goals and so on and so forth, that is going to be the... Uh, Six of Swords, and the last one, we do have the Guidance card of the Sun card. So once again, uh, Three of Wands, followed by the uh, King of Swords. After that, what we do have, this is going to be the Six of Swords. And the last one for you guys, we do have the Sun card. All right, so uh, Three of Wands, first of all, from the first look of uh, the uh, weekly tarot cards, it does look like that you will have to overcome a, a specific person of power or authority that uh, you will have to just pass by. Uh, that is for the reason that you are to, uh, how can I place it? <clears throat> you are to find out for yourself that you are surpassing the... Uh, the things or rather yeah the things that this person is giving you um is giving you in return should i say that way so uh, as i go with the cards probably i will be able to explain myself a little bit better here so the first card it is the tree of wands which is the topic of the week which does represent that you are to sit on a, a very well established patterns uh, a quite secured for that matter, you know, quite secured positions as well. And the thing with the tree of uh, wands is that you will crave for even higher expand, you know, you're going to crave for even bigger, um, kind of like bigger benefits, you know, or um, a bigger varieties into your life. And it does depend where the card does manifest itself. The point here is that you will cry for challenge, for to challenge yourself in order to achieve a greater height and in order to go into, you know, um, for example, into a better relationship or to find for yourself a better job. The thing with the tree of wands as a topic of the week as well, guys, is that the week is going to go exactly as you are planning, as you have planned it, because the tree of wands does represents that one is going to be in harmony with what with their expectations and with the events that are happening around. Therefore, uh, the car itself expresses that you will be able to execute a, a plan should you have one throughout the week with fairly great, uh, with fairly big amount of a, a success throughout the execution of the plan itself. The accompanied card that is going to be the Knight of Swords here and the uh, combination, it is a uh, active friends. <clears throat> So you are to, uh, this week is going to require from you to rely on your agile mind, um, keen mind to, uh, uh, how can I place it? Well, it's difficult. Um, a 
keen mind and awareness, you know, that you do have the right to proceed forward, if that makes sense, all right? And as well as the as the Knight of Swords appears into this reading, it, it does point as well that whatever decisions you will have to make throughout the week, those decisions need to be consulted with your emotions. And as a, con a contribute to the Tree of Wands, uh, it kind of only strengthens or enhance, enhances the uh, statement here that you should decide in favor of what you like, all right? So that week you should not do anything that you don't like, but only those things that you want to do and that you like to do as well, which is easier said than done. Um, of course, you know, as you are listening to this reading, you will say, well, what this guy is talking about, you know, I always do whatever I want. Well, you don't, you know, uh, we, we don't do whatever we want. We don't have the luxury to do that. And I will give you just an example. You wake up Wednesday morning, you are very sleepy, you know, and you are feeling so exhausted. You just don't want to go to work but you will have to, all right, if you want to feed your family, that's for example. But this week is not going to be a week of uh, or, or obligatories, all right, you can definitely do things uh, that you want, and going into work is not going to be a problem, because with the Tree of Wands, you're going to feel excited going there, because there will be challenges for you to overcome, uh, pleasant, pleasant challenges which are to offer you rewards, that's uh, just for example. But the thing is, the... Um, the challenge here it is this person which is the knight the king of swords a person of authority person of um words if i may express myself that way what that person can do is twist the truth in a way that pleases them best they will not gonna lie all right but again they, they will kind of like use those kind of uh, th those kind of words and uh, are going to try to work their way around in order to present the, present the truth in a such a way that you may not gonna like it in the sense of that well basically they will try to obstruct you of going after those challenges that you have placed in front of yourself for example uh, you can you may want to go for a new job you know and that could be your current boss which is uh, creating predicaments for you to leave your current job all right um asking you to accomplish certain things that you don't have to, for example, stating that you are obliged to do so and so on and so forth. Now, uh, the thing is that uh, this person will hold on and withhold, I'm, uh, um, I'm sorry, a, a certain information from you, which is going to, like I said, not just only create more predicaments for you, but also for some reason is going to uh, obstruct you from utilizing or capitalizing on a, a maximum possible this um these wonderful opportunities that are coming around for throughout the week which are gonna be appear uh, appear as a um you know happy challenges for yourself i don't know how to say it the other way around uh which challenges are gonna give you benefits so uh, uh what I'm trying to say here, Gemini's, is that you should not believe on everything that you hear, uh, especially when it comes from someone that is bossing you around, especially if it comes to, from someone who has a authority over you in one or another way. That could be as well your husband, it could be your father, you know, or it could be a, as well a friend of yours that just likes to have you on their disposal, whatever they please, and now seeing you that you do have something better and something else to do, um, they are trying to convince you that you are going into the wrong direction, which is not the case. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the page of uh, pentacles. The formation is a um, active enemies and uh, with active enemies you gotta remember your calls and you have to uh, in this case you have to remember your goal that also is going to be a challenge although the goal itself is going to always linger in the back on your uh, in the back of your mind and uh, the more you detach yourself from this person the more your goal of be for example lucrative or of be for example happy or just successful into your business you know in in a way that you want to do it uh, is going to start planting bigger and bigger seeds so uh, the way i see it here gemini's 
is that you will have to detach yourself from those that you are working with or those that you are associating with throughout this week. So can so um, um, unless excuse me you are not sure who that person is. I mean, if you know who that person is, all that you have to do is just detach yourself from them, you know, but if you don't know who that person is, then I'm afraid that you will have to do that with everybody and just take some time alone, that is, in order to uh, better define, you know, how you should proceed from here, you know, by challenging yourself and by trying to expand your limits and uh, as well, what kind of strategies you're going to adopt in order to do so it is because it's going to be rather a bit stressful you moving along with your challenges either regarding career or either regarding relationship that is well displayed here with the six of swords but before we go to the six of swords i want to say a little bit uh more uh with these couple of cards so the main uh direction that this person is going to try to convince you otherwise not to move on you know with your goals and with your uh with your dreams that is is by trying to undervalue the rewards from those dreams all right so if I have to give you the example here with your boss obstructing you to go into uh, a new job, they may uh, try to tell you um, how bad that company is which you're trying to go to and how uh, insincere they are, you know, and uh, how, um, how can I place it, slinky or rather like uh, nefarious they are as well that they may store your... Um, salary for example or to diminish it and so on and so forth just don't believe into everything that it is said to you everything that is presenting itself as a fact but in reality it's rather fiction just take your time to think carefully how you should proceed from here because the six of swords does hit and that is the positivity of the week so when the six of swords manifests itself it does point that what you're going through kind of appears as a transition you know transition that seemingly does look like that you are taking a huge risk but in reality as the six of swords is in a um positive position it does point that there is no risk whatsoever the only thing that you need to do you know is to overcome that fear that you are going into toward the unknown direction but you will not lack lack the courage guys and it seems that you're going to be with this car pretty determined you know to improve your circumstances one way or another so having the six of swords it doesn't look like that this person here the king of swords is going to have that big of an influence upon you um, as they usually have the accompanied card that is going to be the nine of wands formation is active uh, friends and it seems that this week you are also going to be as well aware what is going to take for you to go to move on forward with these additional challenges which are promising you growth promising you lucrative job for example or a, a very enthusiastic and as well um kind of like dynamic relationship you will be aware what it takes and thus you will start making your preparations patiently arming yourself with again you know patience and gathering up your strengths realizing you know that what comes uh, what what comes after is no joke i mean it will require uh, your full attention it will require your performance flawless performance as well and also it's going to require for one or another reason crisis managing uh, that crisis is not going to be your crisis you know but you managing someone else's crisis or a company crisis is going to give you a, a huge edge in front of others which are in the same field that you're going to place yourself at and the guidance here from Taro, finally, that is going to be the Sun card. It does point that this is your natural path, basically. That is what you are supposed to do. This is the direction that you are supposed to go forth. The Sun here points that these challenges you are to define for yourself to place, realizing that you need to grow, you know, and in the current place that you are at, there is no more room to grow. Uh, uh, this card, it does define that they have a, a huge energies of expand or there resides a huge energies of expanse, monetary success, uh, f uh, harmonious flow into relationships as well. But above everything else, like I said, this is the natural way how you're going to feel yourself happy. It is your current to take. 
The accompanied card, this is going to be the Eight of Cups. Formation is a active enemies. And it doesn't look like that you're gonna regret what you are um, abandoning. It's not even abandoning. Uh, you know, maybe you are to place your current um, side uh, endeavors and undertakings more on the back seat, right? And you are to truly devote and focus on this uh, new endeavor of yours. But also uh, uh, with this combination, it doesn't look like that you're going to regret it, not for a second, even though you're not going to regret that you stand for yourself in front of this person king of swords and kind of show them who is uh, who is the boss uh, this combination here it does point as well that as a guidance that you don't need a new perspectives you don't need a new beginnings you just need to challenge yourself in order to expand in either career or either relationship and what do i mean under challenges guys well let's say you have a private business challenging yourself meaning that you will probably have to think about um opening new services, you know, or just attacking a, a new fields of market, you know, challenging yourself into a relationship, maybe it could mean that if you are single, that is, uh, maybe you should um, kind of like try to conquer that handsome girl, or that handsome boy that you haven't even dreamed of, all right? Or into your career as well, maybe that would represent you attacking a, a promotion position or applying, like I said, for a new and a, a better job. So that being said, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading, Gemini's. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.